Hey everybody! Welcome to the Jada and Stitches show. We wanted to add something extra to the channel this year, and that is going to be little short quick tips. Most importantly on crochet, but other crafty stuff too. So without further ado, let's get to the first one. This is a brand new ball of yarn. It's perfect. You'll notice how its packaging is nice and neatly stuffed around the middle. It's got little bulbous bits sticking out both ends. There are no ends of yarn or string hanging out either end. And when I place it on a shelf, it stays where I put it. Notice it doesn't roll or want to flop off the shelf. It's basically behaving itself. This is what yarn should really look like. This is a ball of yarn that's had a little bit of use. There's an end hanging out one side, there's another little end sort of attached, possibly going to get tangled at some point. The sleeve is getting a little loose and it's starting to lose its structural integrity, but if I put it on the shelf, it'll still stay where I put it. I might have to tuck a few ends up to make it look a little neater but it's not going to roll and it's not going to fall off the shelf. So this is an acceptable ball of yarn. But it's... well, it's on the edge. <sighs> this pathetic little pile of string is what's left over after you've been crocheting in front of the television all night. It's brown, but that's roughly all I know about it because this thing, its wrapper, has fallen off, it got tangled, maybe it completely fell apart, somebody stuffed it in the garbage can, you sat on it, the cat roared off with it, who knows. This is long since gone, and two weeks from now, you're not going to know what this is, what color it is, if it's got a particular shade, what its weight is, any of the important information, and possibly what project you used it with last. So this tip is how to fix this problem. For this hack, or quick tip, you're going to need a little bit of tape and whatever ball of yarn you're currently working on. Now I'm going to demonstrate using this mostly perfect ball of yarn because this one doesn't need anything done to it. When you're finished crocheting or knitting for the afternoon and you want to put your ball of yarn away, this is what you do. Take your tape, take off a little piece, not very much, kind of like you're wrapping a present, Grab the wrapper of the yarn between your fingers, thusly, and roll it back and forth, pinching and squishing the yarn down on either side, and then pick one side or the other, flatten it forward, and just stick some tape on it. Voila! Now, you're not going to lose your wrapper, and your ball is not going to fall apart on you. If, however, you have gotten to this part, you can do one of two things. You can unravel it and roll it into a ball and safety pin a little note to it, or, if you still have this handy, gently feed the yarn back into your wrapper, grab a piece of tape, and do the same thing. Pinch the wrapper, very tightly, and then roll it all the way around and secure with a bit of tape. This ensures that not only does it stop falling apart on you, but you'll have all of the important yarn information in case you need it down the road, and you know, you'll know what color it is or what shade it is. It's easier to match, especially if you're buying your yarn online. And there you go. Oh, not only that, but watch this. They both sit there, they're not going to roll, they're not going to fall apart on you, and their ends are neatly tucked up underneath the wrapper. Simple, quick, but it does help a lot. And there you go guys, the first of hopefully many simple quick tips. That's all, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember you can also follow me on Google+, Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, and now Facebook too, at Jaden Stitches. Thank you very much for tuning in everybody. We'll see you again soon, bye. <laughs> Thank you. Next.